So what is going on in my mind when I'm painting? I begin by just putting paint on my canvas. I wanted to start with an abstract background and then work my way towards a motive. So I began with a, on the left side a little bit of a greenish yellow and more of a warmer yellow towards the right side. I then just start by layering color, putting texture in with a small piece of, of wood. Eventually I just start using my hands. I'm looking for a composition that, that seems pleasing to me. Something that connects well together. And if I remember correctly, I'm working roughly after uh, the, the motive photo that I took. And it had these uh, squares inside them because of the light. So I'm working on them to try and lift them from the background, keeping them in mind and covering them in, in a warm yellow. I just um, keep on doing that and keep on wiping the paint away that I already put on. I put in a, a light purple to give the yellow a contrast to play with. And I just keep on doing that. I wanted the purple to be a little bit more reddish, so I put in more, more of the red color and then back to wiping again. I'm looking for texture here. I'm looking to, to have a vibrant background, something that is playful. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing there. Just giving the canvas a spanking, slapping. So yeah, then I go on to the, on to the motive. And I don't think there's too much going on in my brain, mind. Um, I just work by the, the motive. I just work by the, the, the shapes and try to, especially with the negative shapes, when I'm covering uh, from a photo. And then I firstly start by blocking in a few colors, a few reference colors for later. So I know this is, this is just the beginnings. I could just keep on going. I work on my way through the shadows here and there. Because I want to make sure that the base coat is something I can work with later. Trying to get the, the eye sockets right. I wasn't too sure if I wanted a face in this painting, but I figured I'd just uh, paint it in. And I can paint over it later anyways. Trying to to get the colors right first. I'm, I'm looking here for the, the shadows always to the, the photo. Trying to have a layout for light and shadow. Even though that's the first coat. I still want to make sure that uh, light and shadow work, work together. So I'm just working my way through the different different shapes and the different body parts. Pull a little bit of that blue into it and eventually notice this is this is way too too white. I need more uh, saturation so I put in more more red. I feel like thinking too much about painting overcomplicates it. A lot of the time I think about the paint as a control, which are mostly thoughts as in too bright, too dark, too saturated, or I need more saturation. Here, yeah, I put in brown. No, there's just not much, especially because 
at that point I'm in, in a flow state. I I go by feel. I know what's what's happening. So I put light on the on the light parts. I I wanted to to have that um, bag a little bit rough. And I'll work on that later. I know I will. But I still want to make sure uh, some of the parts are really really light and, and, and white and bright to so if I eventually paint over them it's way easier to lift them again because the, the paint doesn't doesn't cover all the the white that good. You you'll see later what I'm what I'm saying. And yeah I, I use towels a lot, like paper towels um to wipe some spaces again and I put a lot of green already in and I'm working my way through through the light and soon we will be done with uh, the first coat so I know the background isn't done yet I know I'm gonna have to revisit the face Probably an um, experiment with it. See, ah, yeah, there we are. All right. So I put in a um, a newspaper and draw a rough shape of of a form that I of, of a shape that I wanted to put on. So I rip it up. This is just a really easy way to experiment with um yeah different shapes of covering. And I decided I like it actually, so I wanted to try something more, though I wanted to experiment a little bit more, so I take a white chalk and I, I render it out. The nice thing about these pastels is that even if I go back with the acrylic, the, the brush still picks up the, the pigment of them. So I'm working my way through here just, I mean, if I didn't like it, I still would have the possibility of washing it off. It would leave a little bit of a stain here and there, but nothing you could work your way around. So I wanted to see what, what would happen if I would put more chalk into my, my paintings. And to be honest, seeing this now, I, I do like it actually. Maybe I should do more, more with pastels. Yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, um, I go on by covering a few spaces with a light blue and just lifting the, the body. And here you see me, I'm, I'm covering the face, starting to cover the face. I didn't want to have it too, too personal. I didn't want to have a face on that person and I'm still looking for the overall composition to to have like a flowing feeling so I'm trying to add that to my to my work I'm working into that direction this is it's my main goal not, not details just to have the, the work work as a whole in this face and lifting a little bit the uh, the right arm or the left arm uh, from the background with that white stroke there and just putting in more paint just to get the quality better paint quality because I, I don't know if you can see it that good but on, on camera but um, in, in real you can really s tell the difference between good quality paint when it's just like a layer you can really f feel the difference and I do enjoy parts of that being super vibrant so yeah here I'm, I'm still figuring out the, the background 
I want more of the saturated colors in. And I just work my way through it. I then decide to put a little bit more of the, the red in there, a little bit lighter, like a strawberry red. Hard to give that shape uh, a cousin, I guess. You know, something to hold on to on the right side, on the right lower side. And then I decide to put in a few strokes of light blue on top to um, connect with the bottom part and the left left shoulder. I really like that right upper corner where I covered the the red uh, with a with a sign. Yeah, because you still can see through um, through the paint. So yeah, here I'm, I'm starting to work on more details. I noticed that I started off way too bright, so I wiped it all off again and went back to mixing paint. But it's still it still works for me, even if I make these mistakes, um, just wiping it off can help uh, a lot because it does leave sort of a stain, which which can be used. So yeah, I'm defining here the, the belly because before it was too, um, too blurry and it didn't really lead into into the figure. It had this prominent blue stripe, but uh, the figure is already so blurry that I felt like it needed more detail in some, some way. So I ended up putting more, more highlights in, you know, the, the usual thing of defining, making the dark spots a little bit darker, making the highlights pop a little bit here and there and defining the pants again. I used an indigo for this one. I want to make sure that the value between the, the jacket and the, the pants is different because before I started putting in the darker colors it looked like they're quite similar and it doesn't really has a separation so I wanted to make sure. I'm working on the hair. I eventually go back to the hair. Oh yeah, the belly button. I have to put in a really dark spot into the belly button. I really like that now. Now that I put in the the really dark spot. And yeah, here I'm working on the the real highlights. I've put it I, I took even a an even smaller brush on this. I was thinking a lot of if uh, this work is actually done for me or not. And I had it standing around for a few days before I finish, finished it. But I think I'm, ha I'm happy now. Yeah, I like it. If you want to see me paint a portrait and want to know why I sometimes paint over details, go check out this video. Thanks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.